Hello, this is a very quick overview of WebThing. So I'm starting it up from the icon. Uh, it loads its dictionaries, which takes about 20 seconds, um, depending on the speed of the computer. Big dictionaries in there, and it should come up in just a second. Uh, what you do with this is to type a web query in here. Say, Apache Indian uh, children hunting deer. Uh, which is a long query, and you wouldn't normally put something like that, uh, as long as that into, uh, uh, into Google, I don't think. Here are the sites that Google returns, and if we hover on them, we can get the Google snippet and the URL. Uh, so we're not really doing here anything much more than Google does. If we click on it, we'll go to the site and... Uh, uh, we, we get it displayed. So it's just doing what Google does. Now the strength of uh, WebThink is when you actually do semantic extraction and you do some statistics. So I press extract facts down there. We are now actually visiting each of the websites uh, in turn. Uh, we're getting the HTML, we are analyzing it linguistically and statistically, and we are going to rank a set of uh, snippets. And we're going to have about 20 snippets for each site. Uh, there we are. And we also rank the actual site. So it's a different ordering from what Google had. We're starting with number two. Google's number two, then one, and so forth. So if we just hover on that, the nice thing about hovering is you can compare things without pressing and where am I going to point my... Uh, I'll remove that. Where are we going to point my uh, mouse in order to close things down? So you just move it around like that, move it up there to, to close it. Um, that's a nice interesting one here. So we've got snippets, we've got 20 of them. They're colour coded, we've done semantic extraction, named entity extraction, we've classed it as to whether it's a company or it's a, a personal name or a place or a product sometime, whether it's in the uh, query, so Indian is in the query. If we hover on here, it tells us a bit more about the semantic uh, uh, typing that we've done. School is about education, children is a query word, but it's not in the site title. Now, of course, Google just shows you site titles, uh, essentially. Uh, so it's the ones that are not in the site title that you, you are really interested in. Uh, so we've also got rules in there that do linguistics. Foot races and play archery games is liked because they like to run foot races and play archery games. And there's 700 rules in there, which I don't want to stress on this particular video. I just want to do an over oversight. Now, if I was a teacher using this, for example, I might want to collect things that are useful to the kids to know in order to answer that query that we've put at the top. Come back down to it. Here it is again. I like that first one. Uh, down here, primarily there were hunters. Apache men hunted buffalo deer. and We've got deer up in the query, so I'll pick that one. Um, if I click in there, my wheel will work. Uh, Apache children and elders talking together, not really. I think we've had hunters there, but there's not a lot. Those are the two relevant ones. Uh, is the one above that in ranking any better? Well, we've got buffalo there, which is quite nice. Uh, uh, we've got deer. Uh, I'll go back up to the top. The second most utilised animal is deer. So I like that one, I think. That's close to the query. I'll automate this in a minute. So anyway, I've picked those three out. I go into, let's create a web file. Uh, lots of things, change the colour, suppress the colour, change the margins, which I'm not going to go into. I just say apply and it will automatically be saved away. And there it is, a nice little selection for the students and they can view that with Internet Explorer. They don't need WebThink to do that. You put your picture in at the top, obviously. They can click on a site and it will visit it, just as though they were using Google. Um, and... Yeah, so that's a nice little encapsulation in an internationally recognisable form. Uh, we can also, if we want, send it to the clipboard, and it's gone to the clipboard. We can start up here any sort of Word or, or notepad, and we can put it in from the clipboard, and, and there it is. One thing we might like to do is to put some comments in here. So uh, I'm a teacher, and I comment. And this is per site, so I'll save that away. Now if I do the site, uh, I produce the web page, uh, we'll see the comments that I've made are down on the bottom. I'm a teacher and I comment. Um, I didn't type it properly. So, um, that's very convenient if you're wanting to select things and send them to people. Um, 
I was picking the important things, but that can be done automatically for me. And we've got an algorithm in there. If you say go, whoops, sometimes we just we move around too fast, we get things going. I'll start from the beginning there. I go. Uh, that's close to the query. Uh, our algorithm has detected that. Uh, that's also close to the query. And now it says nothing else in that site is very close. So go down to the next one. And we'll, again, that's just popping up. And we'll search again. They like to go hunting and fishing with their fathers. That's obviously relevant. They hunt a buffalo and deer and so on. So all that's automated so that you don't have to scan read. Um, but of course, the color makes it very easy to scan read. Uh, um, and I'll leave you to, to, to have a go at this yourself. Now, that's the first video. That's six minutes. And I can only have about uh, 20 megabytes. Um, my website is very good. It's iPage, but they limit me to uh, 20 megabytes. So that's the first one, and uh, then I'll, I'll make another one.